Hi everyone, Ms. Schlarman here, and today we're gonna to talk about texture. Texture is how something feels. So there's actual texture and there's implied texture. So actual texture would be this right here. When you touch the bottom of the shoe, you can feel the texture. Now, implied texture is when you see it on paper where you can't actually feel it, but it looks like there's texture. So you can see here, we basically did a rubbing of the bottom of this shoe and the same shoe, we did one over here as well. And I'm gonna show you in fast motion, slow it down, talk to you about it and work with how to create texture into your art. Texture is the surface quality of something. Here we have this shoe, and you can see that texture is repeated over here on the paper. So your challenge is going to be to find a texture, any texture, and if you can't think of one, turn your shoe over. Most shoes have a really cool texture on the bottom of it. This shoe, this Adidas sandal, is my son's, and I borrowed it because I really like the texture. Then you're gonna get your piece of paper. And crayons seem to work the best for this, so I'm gonna take a crayon, and I put it right there, and then I try not to wiggle it so it doesn't move around, so I've got it flattened. And I am going to basically color on top of it, and you can see the texture coming up onto the paper. And I chose brown for a reason, and you're gonna see why as it comes up. But look at that, it even picked up the words, Adidas, right there. Okay, so look at this, it's creating those, those diamond-shaped patterns that are on the sole of it. Now, some people like to take the crayon paper off of their crayon so they can use more of the side. That will work too. The most important thing is to make sure you don't wobble your shoe, you hold it securely, Maybe ask someone to help you with this part, but be careful not to wiggle the shoe. It will look fantastic if you take your time, go slow and practice. See how this one hand is constantly holding it? Sometimes if you have a friend in the house or your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, that you can just have one person hold it and the other person kind of like do the things like that. Doesn't that look so cool? I love it. Look at that. It's got like, oh, it's so cool. It's like someone just shoop, stamped on it. Oh my gosh, I just had a brainstorm. It kind of looks like someone walking through the beach. You know how when you walk on the beach or on the sand in a park um, or in the sandbox and you make the imprint from your shoe? It totally looks like that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna think creatively. So this one's kind of using texture and pattern. So texture is just repetition, things that are repeating. And here we have the repetition of the colors going around. You saw this in fast motion, and now you can kind of just see there's a lot of pattern. Now you can either come up with patterns to your design and do something, but I just thought about that sand. So you know what I wanna do? I wanna turn this into more of like a sand picture. I'm thinking beach. So I'm gonna pull out some colors here. I'm thinking the, the browns are great for the ocean sand. I, I think I just wanna go to a beach. I think that's what's in my head here. I always love the beach, but I need some water too. So I'm just pulling out these different blue colors. Okay, now I'm gonna start, I'm gonna have like down here, I'm gonna have some water. Okay, and I'm just gonna add into it and make it. I'm gonna speed it up in fast motion and we can see this go fast, but come up and find a texture, do a rubbing of your texture and then add to your picture. 
So I did the texture rubbing and now I'm adding in more texture. I'm doing the beach and I have the water and I have some palm tree leaves and I'm making a little friend over there. I'm putting a little, little crab friend, but notice the dots that I'm creating. That's implied texture as well. I'm repeating the same thing over and over to make a surface quality. Um, you can see it now, you can see the texture in the, the sand and in the waves, how you make your mark on the paper. So if you do a repetition pattern, it's going to create the illusion of a texture. So you can either do more of an abstract one where it's just repetition of patterns and bright colors, or you can do one more realistic like I did with the sand. It's up to you. I just want to see your creativity.